Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are my list of must have apps on your Coolpad Note 3 Lite. So guys, these are the 20 apps that you must definitely have. It actually has 21 apps, but you can consider the other one as a bonus one. So guys, first thing is the touch pal. So this is a keyboard. So let me just quickly configure it to show you how it looks like. So guys, this is how the keyboard looks. It does all the basic stuff like other keyboards do, but additionally, it has some nice gestures and a clipboard manager inbuilt into it and a nice text expander. So let me just show you that. So it does the same thing like any other keyboard. Over here we have navigation buttons. We can select all the text, cut the text or paste it. We even have a nice clipboard and other features too. So guys just give it a try. If you just want a normal keyboard with swipe functionality, try Swift key. So guys next we have app dialer. So this is how it looks. So as the name suggests, it's a dialer for apps. So we have easy ways to search through all our contacts, but not our apps. So this app does that for us. So guys, let's say I want to open Play Store. I can simply press P, 7 for P, 5 for L. And there I have a shortcut for Play Store. So in this way, I can easily access any app that I want. So if you have like a hundred apps on your phone and if you're lazy like me to search through the app drawer, then this app will definitely help you. So guys, the next app is AirDroid, which is like a web-based PC suit for your phone. Using this app, you can do a lot of stuff like mirroring notifications from your phone to your PC or your browser, checking your SMS, checking your messages and even replying them, taking a backup of your contacts, call logs, messages, and maybe even adding new ones over there copying files from your phone and transferring files from your phone. So you can do all these sorts of crazy stuff just by using this one app and your file browser. So guys, the next app is TSF Shell Launcher, which is the one that I'm currently using. So it has some awesome animations and transitions. So apart from that, we have this lasso mode to quickly select apps or app shortcuts and delete them or put them all in a folder and do cool stuff like that. And as you can see, this is a nice 3D lock and it has an inbuilt alarm to it and you can also see those nice clouds passing by so it's definitely the best launcher at least according to me so guys the next app is automated which is an automation app let's say if you want to turn off wi-fi and bluetooth from every day maybe at 11 pm then you can use this app to do stuff like that so guys it's a very nice app and a free one so guys the next app is cam scanner and this is how it basically looks so it's a document scanner and every time you try to take a picture of a document then this is the app I want you to use. So using this app you can take a picture, scan it and enhance the text. So just give it a try. Next we have GSAM battery monitor which you can use to track the changes in your battery. So you can know when or how your battery is draining and why. So guys the next app is IMO which is an instant messenger which I have been using very recently and I use it mainly to make video calls and the video quality and the audio quality are pretty good. So just give it a try. Next we have MX player which is by far the best video player on Android. So guys this is the player and we can simply swipe on the right side of the screen to increase or decrease the volume. Swipe on the left side of the screen to change the brightness. Swipe in the middle from left to right or right to left to change the position of the playback. So it has these nice gestures and it works really well. So guys, the next app is PowerAmp, which is actually a paid app, but you have a trial mode. So this is the best music app out there. So you have features like equalizer and you can customize a lot of stuff with it. You can change shortcut for your headset. You can set your media player to stop after maybe one hour or two hours. So you have all these nice features. Just give it a try. Next we have InShots, which is actually a news application, which tries to display or give you the latest information in less than 60 words. So every news article is described in less than 60 words. So you can catch up to the world without wasting your time. So guys, the next app is Keith, which is by Google. So it's a note taking app and definitely the best one out there. So you can use this app to take notes or store information and quickly share them with anyone. So once you have a note ready, you can press this button and enter the email ID. You can easily share this memo with them. 
So guys, the next app in our list is Gallery Vault, which is actually an app that can hide all your images and videos. So if you have some embarrassing content on your phone and you want to hide it, then this is the app that you should definitely try. So the best features of this app that distinguishes it from the other apps is that you can hide and encrypt your files and images using this app and play them without decrypting them or unhiding them. Next we can move all your hidden files to the SD card which is something I really miss in other apps. Next we can take a backup of your hidden files and restore them or else we can simply export all these files to a specific folder. So all of these nice features and it comes for free. By the way it also has a pro version and in the free version you can hide like only 80 files and on the pro version you get additional features. Next we have Share It, which is a file sharing app. So using this app we can share files with any device running the same application. I usually don't use it but most of my friends do. So I install this app anyway. So guys the next app is ES File Explorer which is under the hood a file manager that you can use to copy files or move files. But apart from that it does a ton of stuff. For example you can play videos, open images, edit text documents, browse the net and do a ton of cool stuff. You can even share files using the Wi-Fi just using this app. This is the number one app on my phone. Maybe number two after app dialer. So guys once again do give it a try. So WhatsApp is out of my list. So the list is now down to 20. So guys the next app is Push Bullet. So using this app we can mirror notifications from our device to our Chrome browser and we can even share files and some links with our friends who are using the same application. So I guess this is my third must have app on my device or any of my devices. So guys the next app is here maps which is a very good alternative for the Google maps. So you get two new things in this app. You have offline maps and you have offline navigation. So you can basically download the map of an entire continent and move it to your SD card and you can search through that map for any location and use navigation to find the way from your location to that place. So a pretty cool app but the interface and the performance of this app isn't as good as the Google map. Well the Google map is very swift, very fluid whereas this map does a pretty good job. The next app is Lemma which is once again an automation app but this is a location based automation app. It uses your cell phone tower number to track where you are. So as it doesn't use the GPS, it doesn't consume any battery and based on your location you can do some cool stuff like Whenever I am at home, it disables my mobile data and enables Wi-Fi and when I leave my home, it turns off Wi-Fi and enables mobile data or does some other stuff. So I can configure my phone to do this kind of automation stuff. So the next app is T-Torrent, which is the best torrent client. So if you are someone who doesn't like running their desktop or laptop throughout the night to download a few files, then you can download them using T-Torrent on your mobile. Your mobile will anyways be running throughout the day, so why not download torrents using this app. There are other torrent clients available which does the same thing, but by far this is the best one I have found. Most of the other torrent clients that I have tried didn't download the entire torrent file, whereas this app downloaded the file completely every time. So guys the final app in our list is VLC Media Player, which is by the same team that brought us VLC for our desktop PC. So guys this does everything that MX player does but additionally we have the option to play videos at slow motion or fast motion. I usually use this app to watch trailers where a lot of information is shown in a little span of time. So there you have it guys these are my list of 20 must have apps on Coolpad Note 3 Lite. If you have any app recommendations do let me know by commenting below this video. If you found this video to be helpful give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.